Invader here, and today's objective is killing the Sniper and Rhino in Cache Complex. This was highly requested by you guys. Uh, after publishing my stealth vest guides, uh, I think I published two stealth vest guides, and uh, they were pretty well received. So thank you guys for liking those videos and uh, all that good stuff. But what I figured out after a lot of comments and a lot, a lot of comments is that a lot of you guys haven't even unlocked the stealth vest people were asking me like well can you make a guide on killing the rhino and the sniper as a solo so we can unlock the stealth vest and i find that 100 percent reasonable i do not actually consider that people haven't unlocked the stealth vest yet and uh well that's my bad that's my bad but here we are here we are and uh i'm doing just a little bit of looting here and i'm using this m13b and the reason why the M13B out of all guns, it's pretty much be because it has a really high fire rate. The M13B has a really high fire rate and a really decent damage, a very easy co uh, recoil control, makes it a really mobile gun, really good against bots, really decent against players. And uh, I'm probably gonna be sharing this build with you guys. This is more tuned towards mobility and quick ADS. Like, look how snappy this is. You see just like how snappy that ADS? That is, I love that so much. And um, our first objective here is actually finding a rebreather. But if you didn't know about this, basically you can craft a rebreather using one hard drive and one imported tea, which we've already looted from the gas station. These are like pretty common items within gas stations. If you still don't find these items, this right here is a really good place to find tea. It is like a supermarket. So make sure to loot it. There you go. There's more tea. And in case you need hard drives and you don't find inside this computer here. Well, this police station over here is a really good place to find hard drives. Right now I do have a hard drive and tea. So I can make myself a rebreather pretty, pretty easily. And um, I'm getting prox chat. Enemy here. We can be chill if you want. Uh, do you want to be chill? We'll, yeah, we can team up. Revive me. Uh, I'm sending requests. Uh, take out team. I'm sending requests. We team up with. My I'm sending your your request. Can you accept? Uh, Fonzie, can you hear the other guys talking? Yeah, I can. Yeah, I'm, I'm 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 sending your request. I'm sending your request. You yeah. get that? Team there you go. Hey dudes, stay with me. Hey guys, no worries. I'm chill. I'm chill. I'm just uh, I'm just recording for a video here, and uh, you just scared me. Sorry. Well, these guys were nice. These guys were nice. You don't meet that kind of people in EU that much. Oh, well, back to the video. <laughs> well, if you guys would like to see more of these guides, then uh, I would really like it if uh, you could like the video, guys. If we can get this video to 500 likes, that would be really awesome. And it would be it would pretty much mean that I am doing a good job. So click the like button guys. It helps us quite a bunch. Thank you guys for, for liking the video. Well, let's continue. So I've acquired my hard drive and imported T. Two of them actually, so I can now make two rebreathers. Oh, players on me. This is a really bad position for me. What? Wait, I give it back. Wait, 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 wait. Here. What up? Oh my god, what is going on now? Come on, dudes. Greet from Austria. What is going on now? Oh my god. Can I please record a video? Just wanted to get the buy station. I did spawn in with anti armor rounds, but I don't want to use them yet. These are. For me to take into Kashai Complex, yeah, as you can notice, guys, the utility that I spawned in with, it is not quite conventional. It is not quite conventional. I am using shock sticks instead of flashes, which I usually always have. That's because shock sticks are insanely good against the Rhino. I will get to that. I'll get to show you guys. I will get to show you. But for now, let me get to that buy station. Okay, let's continue. Oh, that's a player. Come on, Pika, I know you want it. 
There you go. I aim too high. Okay, I should get a better position. There you go. He's selfing. Let me interrogate. Hey, buddy. Wrong place, wrong time, I guess. I should have I should have looted him. Maybe as a Damascus dog tag, I actually do need a Damascus dog tag. Forgot to loot that. He leave the game? No, not yet. He does not have a Damascus dog tag. Unfortunate. Mm, they walked out. This is a fight I did not sign up for. Ultra One, you've got hostile reinforcements. Where from? Oh. Down him. Two down. Targeting operators for a bounty on you. Nice. You saved my ass there. Finally, we got to the buy station. Finally, we got to the buy station. Now. We can barter for a rebreather. You see, one hard drive, one imported tea. One, can actually get two rebreathers. Out, there you go. We have two rebreathers in our stash. I don't need the encrypted hard drives, do I? I need... I do not need... No. So I'm just gonna sell, sell. Now we have everything we need for Kashai Complex. Let me go help out my team here. Pick up uh, our teammates. And then continue. These were nice guys. They're trying to have a chill day. So where's the enemies? Oh, I had it. Nice. One more, one more. One behind us. Sniper, sniper to the left, sniper to the left. Unfortunate. Okay, uh, guys, uh, I need to go now. I gotta do my mission. Uh, okay. okay. Good luck, and uh, maybe I'll catch some other game, guys. See ya. Okay, bye <laughs> Thanks, dude. No worries. Right, now time to go into the Tarak entrance. Let's go. I'm gonna go into the Kashai complex. And for the most part, I am not gonna use my sniper in Kashai. As you can see, guys, I am using the KV broadside. This is like the best gun you can use in Cachet Complex. It deals much more damage to AI in Cachet rather than any other map, I think. So it is almost essential in a map like Cachet Complex. Hey, there we go. Finally in Cachet Complex, and we are ready to go. Running in with the M13B and the KV broadside. Now a quick reminder guys, so you saw that I'm coming in with a little bit of a different loadout than the usual. I'm coming in with shock sticks and anti-armor round because both of these stuff are really, really good against the Rhino and the Sniper. And I'll get to show you how. I'll get to show you how in a second. Now, I don't need this many revived pistols, so... I'm just gonna carry this muni box instead. Pretty sure we're gonna run out of ammo soon. And uh, I don't want to break my scuba mask, so I'm gonna drop these plates and sew my scuba mask and put on the rebreather for now. Let's see. Now, this room right here on the right side usually has this key, the barracks exit A. Now, if you go here also, if you don't find the key right there, you will also find, you'll probably find this key around this room lying, maybe check behind this desk. Sometimes it's here. Make sure to check this room thoroughly to find that, to find that key. So allow me to grab the night visions, allow me to grab the... What am I dropping here? I think I'm gonna drop the second rebreather because I don't need that. And uh, let me carry the barracks exit key A. This is the first key to the hidden location. Now we just, if you don't need to get looted, you can just breeze through this. Just go forward to the left. I don't need any loot really. If I find hydrogen peroxide, that would be insanely lucky. But for the most part, I don't need any loot. And just continue through. Of course, you can get looted yourself. I'm not interested though. Okay. Cheeky reload. 
You see, the bots are like super weak against the KV broadside in this map. Like super weak. And uh, what you want to do is you may want to defuse this C4 right here in case you don't have any explosives or you don't want to waste your explosives. Take this C4 and chuck it on this door right here. Take a little bit of distance, blow it up, pick up back your tactical or your throwing knife. Now behind this door here, you will find two important things. One, the key B, which will be used to open the secret door and one part of the heated madness. Now, right now, I don't need the, the, the part of the heated madness. So I'm just gonna go ahead and search for the key. Now, the key could be in any one of these rooms, and that's why the rebreather is super important. A scuba mask would make much more sense, but I don't wanna use my scuba mask right now. So not in this room. Let's check on the right here. Uh, formaldehyde. Okay, rebreather. There you go, back on full. It does conserve oxygen if you don't sprint while you are swimming. So you can just move like this. It doesn't move you that much slower. And it conserves way much more oxygen. Okay, let's check inside this room here. Breather. Is that a scuba mask? No, just normal gas mask. Let's check. Is it on the floor? No. Maybe here? Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, and that's the hated madness part also. That's the hated madness part. Okay, and now we're good. And we are done with this place. It could also be in any one of these rooms. Like, there's a couple more rooms on the left you may want to check out. And the key should be in one of those. A scuba mask, again, is much more useful for this situation. But I just didn't want to use it. I just want to showcase how easy it is to do it with a rebreather. How easy it is to find a rebreather. We got both keys A and B. Now all we'd have to do is go through the secret entrance. Once you fall through down this hole, open this door, go forward, go to the right. There's a small pocket of air here if you need to take air. I don't need to now. And just go forward and go up through this hole right here. And now we are in factory admin. This is by far the fastest way to reach Factory Admin. I don't know of any faster way to reach Factory Admin. Now, of course, if you need to replenish uh, shields, if you need to replenish armor plates, this is a really good time to do that. Oh, hello. Okay. Here we got the buy station. Buy some plates. And we are chill to go. Large backpack, that's lucky. But let me teach you this. So instead of going through the usual entry point, take a little bit of a detour. Oh, and I saw something that could be useful, actually. So what am I dropping here? I think I'm going to drop one of the uni boxes. And I'm going to pick up the DDoS. DDoS might come in handy later on. We'll get to see. Let me close the door here. Put a claymore. Okay, and now if somebody tries to follow me, I will be notified. This right here is the back door entrance. This right here is the back door entrance, and it makes your life a tad bit easier. It's called alternative exit. Call it alternative exit. Another DDoS. I'll take that, actually. Why not? And to get the key for that, it always spawns in one place. The key for that always spawns in one place, and it is inside this room here. There you go, the key is on the table. Alternative exit key. Now we don't have to deal with like 90% of the AI. Oh, we can just go straight to the bosses. And just go straight to the bosses, there you go. Unlock alternative exit. Close that door. This right here is where shock sticks come in handy. Because these shock sticks, they pin, they pin the rhino in its place. So where is he? There he is. There you go, shock stick. And he's cracked. And he's dead. That's it. That's Rhino. Less than one mag of a KV broadside. Less than one mag from the KV broadside. And the Rhino is already dead. Battle Rage self revive. That's actually really good. Let me put that on and equip the normal self. And time to take over the sniper. 
this right here is where the anti-armor rounds come in handy. Anti-armor rounds pretty much break through the sniper's armor within like milliseconds. So I'm gonna go ahead, equip those, defuse, let me go prone. Now every single time you see him smoke, that means he's moving to the next stage. Now the nice thing about the sniper being in this stage is that he's really easy to get through this window here. We can get a clear line of sight. You see I broke his shield? Once the sniper's shield is broken, he is like two bullets off dying. Now we just need to mind not triggering those traps. Oh, stun grenade, that's not good. You just need to mind not triggering those traps and you should be more than chill. Okay, so this is the way here. I'm gonna go prone. And if my calculations are correct, Sniper should be just around the corner. Plate box. Plate box is nice. Always nice to have a plate box. I'm gonna deal with the AI behind. KV. And say hello to the sniper. Come on, he should be behind this box right now. And then he is dead. That's it. That's how easy the sniper is. That is literally how easy the sniper is. And in case you still don't manage to kill him by now, you can still use the DDoS. So basically what DDoS does is that this, it disables all traps, but only for six seconds. It is like insanely quick. So you gotta press it and move like instantly. You see, all these are disabled, but it's only for a short, brief moment. Now it's gone. Now all the traps are back in action. You see this trap? Here? Like, I should probably disable this. Shouldn't I? Actually, let's keep it. If somebody tries to get here, they won't be so lucky. Now this one you can just jump over. Here, disable this trap. And you're ready to unlock the bunker. There you go. And this is how you unlock the stealth vest, guys. You see, if you are pretty patient about it and play methodically, it is really not that hard. You can do this pretty easily. And I believe in you guys. You guys got this. After all, you guys are my viewers, you know? What have we here? I don't think we have much. We have the weapons case. Lovely, lovely weapons case. Let me pick that up. And off to Xfil. Let's go. Well, we can get out from where we came in, but we will have to go into the dark area. I still do have my NVGs, which is nice. And uh, proximity mine. Oh, hello. Oh, I think I'm cold blooded. So this thing doesn't shoot me. How nice of it. How nice of it. Okay, open bunker door. I'm hoping nobody's waiting for me behind that door. Having comms vest in Koshe Complex is really, really good. Oh, I do have disguise. I'm gonna put that on. At least I'll be buddies with the AI. Call an elevator. Again, guys, if you enjoy these videos, then let's try to reach 500 likes. 500 likes, and uh, hopefully I'll be releasing more of these guides. I almost forgot. Okay, so these are the builds for my guns. There you go. Chrono Mini Dot, 7 Milliwatt, Echo Line. You can just pause to see the tuning. And the KV broadside. There you go. And Dragon Breath.